There's our Earth right near the end. I see you've got the four rocky planets close to the sun, and the four gas giants. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What's the one that's closer to the sun? Oh, yeah. So that's the furthest away over there. That's the one that's closest to the sun. Yeah. And then what's the one that's the same size as the Earth? Which one? That, that one. Which one? That, that one's the one. That one's one. That one's one. That one's one. That one's one. Yeah. Thanks, isn't it? Yeah. How long does it take to go around the sun? How old are you now? Four. Uh, how old will you be next year? Five. Five. Now, in the time between your fourth birthday and your fifth birthday, you go right the way around the sun once. So, how long that? That's one. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Well yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. One year. yeah. Ah. If you go on the internet, yeah. go to NASA yeah. and look for ISS Live View. Yeah. And you'll find that. Oh, we have to do that. That's and really cool, isn't it? You can also. If you go and look on the website called heavensabove.com, it gives you like a Google map, and you put in where you live, and then in the field next to it, you key in ISS, and it will give you a little table that shows you for the next 10 days when the International Space Station is going to be going over where you live. Oh, oh I like that, heavensabove, remember that? Heavensabove.com. It belonged to my tutor that taught me my astronomy in the 1960s. Oh. And I looked after it for him and kept it set up for his first year That's students. That was okay. he, he ran a four year astronomy class and uh, I went to him for those four years, in fact, for not more than that, and looked after this for his first year students. And about 1980s, he was in his 70s and he couldn't climb the stairs to the tower where well, it was in the dome of the church. So he gave it to me, and when I retired, I built it here. Oh, but we went across to a digital planetarium about seven, eight years ago. In fact, no, longer now, it's ten years ago. We put the new one in. We've got some stars, and then we join up with dots, and then we make a little pattern, and that's what we're constellation. If you look over here, I think. Need some more, some more constellations. Yeah. Can you see? So the little balls yeah. are what would be the stars, yeah. and if you look and you joined them up, that's what the shape they would make in the sky. We love the Earth, love the sun, so we don't actually see it. Because remember, the moon's lit up by the sun. Yeah. And therefore, if we do, if it isn't lit up, we can't actually see it. It's there, but yeah. we can't see it. So that's new moon, and then we move on a little bit, and the first thing we see is just from here in the afternoon. It's just a very, very faint crescent like that. So what we actually see in the afternoon, you probably see it going home from school, you actually get the faint crescent moon. I mean, you quite often spot this, don't you? You say the moon's out. <laughs> and then as, it, as we go on to more or less where we are now is what we call the first quarter, when the moon is a quarter of the way around the Earth. And then we go on to getting bigger until we get to what we call the gibbous moon or the bulging moon. Then you get the full moon. Mm -hmm. Then you get another gibbous moon, the waning gibbous. Then you get the waning quarter. I said it, we weren't too far out No, you weren't far at all. <laughs> in fact, you probably see this in the morning in the west, high up in the west, yeah. you see. See this just about sunrise, and then we go back to waning crescent. Which many people don't see. Um, you only really see that first thing in the morning before the sun rises. So it's teachers going to school and yeah. bus drivers <laughs> and people like that. and milkmen when they used to be milkmen. Yes, but um, that's that's the that's the correct. Perfect. Thank you. As you see, there's always half the moon lit up. The sunlight falling onto it. It's always half lit up. But as it goes around the earth, 
It turns a little bit, so we always have the same side facing us. Ah. That's why you never see the moon change. No. Because as it goes once around the earth, it actually it actually turns a little bit as well. So we always see the same okay. side. Oh, we go. It's always it's always the same curve, but we actually weave inside, in and side and out of right. each other. Yeah. If you can imagine when the moon is closer to the sun, then um, we're further out. Or when the moon is further out, we're closer That's in. Yeah. And it was still going yeah. in an old curve time. But, uh, yeah. Thank you.